Well, halfway through the week, one story became hotter than the 1975 Reds. Fox Sports announcer Tom Brenneman's homophobic slur heard when his mic was open just before he started his broadcast. It became open mic night on the hotline as well. Tony, I'm calling over from Emily Village. Tom Brenneman needs to be fired. Shouldn't be no suspension. He needs to be fired. I was deeply disturbed by the statement of Tom Brenneman. I think he should be fired. He only apologized because he got caught, which makes it equally as disgusting. He should be relieved of his position. Joyce from Williamsburg went biblical. I'd like for the first person who's never made a bad comment or a remark about anybody to cast the first stone. And Carolyn Clifton sees a chance for redemption. Yes, Tom made a mistake. There's no doubt about that. My many gay friends, male and female, are very offended by this, as I am. However, mistakes can be rectified. Let's find out what we can do to change the mistakes that we make about others. Former judge and current Hamilton County recorder Norbert Nadel called the hotline in support of Brenneman. As a former judge who believes in redemption and second chances, I say give Tom Brenneman a second chance. Some callers see this as a free speech issue. Craig, this is George from West Price Hill. I thought we still had freedom of speech about anything, uh, but yet some certain groups have their freedom of speech, but yet we don't. It's sad to know that Tom Brenneman's right to free speech can be eclipsed if he says something against a certain group of people. While other callers seem to define a generational divide. Oh, for God's sake. So Tom Brenneman used the word, get over it. No one is perfect. Give the man a break. He didn't mean to say it. It's, he didn't kill nobody. For God's sake, get over yourselves, people. Get a life. When we were kids, we grew up, we called each other whatever. Suspended, ridiculous. He needs to be put back in the seat. People need to grow up. Others who voice their opinion say mistakes happen, and they want Brenneman back in the announcer's booth. Tom Brenneman was created by God like the rest of us, and God does forgive, especially when somebody's very sorry for something like that. He took himself off the air immediately. He uh, registered uh, an apology. He got suspended from baseball and from football. What more do people want? Tom made a terrible verbal mistake, but I don't think anyone can name a person who's never made a terrible verbal mistake. Everyone deserves a second chance. He's a great announcer. Give him a chance. And as you watch WCPO 9 News throughout the week, if you have an opinion about any stories you see, call the hotline at 513-852-4998.